In this video, we're going to take a look at how to create circles and arcs inside of our sketch environment. So here I have a brand new part file, and I'm actually into the sketch environment already. I'm actually on the XY plane here. I'm going to begin our circle command up here from the create panel. Now there is multiple types of circle commands. You can see that if I hit the fly out, there's a circle center point, a circle tangent, and a ellipse as an option. I'm going to begin with the first type, circle center point. Here I'm going to choose the origin of the file as my center point, and then I can specify how big I would like to have this circle with a dimension. For right now, I'm just going to randomly choose a point out here for size, and there's a circle. Very, very simple. Next, I'm going to right click and choose the line command and simply create a couple of lines here really quick. I would like to create a circle that fits within these three lines tangent to each of them. So I'll go up to my circle command and choose the circle tangent option. Pick on each of these three lines, doesn't matter where, and it'll then generate the circle for us. Our last option is the ellipse. Here I'll create a ellipse center, a first axis point, and then a second axis point on the ellipse. Next up, we'll take a look at arcs. There's also three different types of arcs here to create. We'll begin with a three-point arc. I'll simply choose three points, the start, the end, and then somewhere along the arc for the final point. The next arc is the tangent arc, which allows us to pick on a line and then build off of that point, tangent from it automatically. The last arc is the center point arc. This allows us to pick the center point first and then a start point. And then we could choose to either go clockwise or counterclockwise to create our arc and specify it by the angle. Now there's one last method you can create an arc by. Here I'm just going to create a line and I'm still inside the line command. If I go to try to connect this line to something else, like the center point here, you can see the dot is going to turn green. However, if you're in a line tool and you go back to the last point you just selected, the dot will turn gray. Here, if you click and hold, you can actually trace out an arc without ever having to switch commands. Here at the end of this arc, I can do the same thing. Now it takes a little bit of practice to get this right because it depends on how you come out of that point, which way the arc is going to try to create itself. Here I'll just create a little line segment going this way and then build the arc out. So you can see if I go back to this and kind of go out to the upper left, that's how it goes. You just have to be careful on how you're building that shape but it is a real time saver, so you don't have to stop the command you're currently in and begin another one. 